Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Feel Bad Friday. Uh, I say this week's as if this has been tremendously weekly. It's been an attempt at it, uh, though. Oh, oh, sorry, not perfectly. Uh, we're going to pop right into the level this week from a random player, Grid World. So posted in the forums a little while back, Grid World. Now this one, the uh, version I'm playing, by the way, of the game is 0.8 which you can find in the um, on the web ver version of the game. It's not quite out yet in the real uh, the real version of the game. Let me get the death counter up here. Um, there's a little a few changes from 0.7. Not nothing too tremendous. A couple bug fixes um, that we've got going on now. Apologize for the hiccups. Uh, random player posted in the forums about this level saying, since we can only have three stars, try to get all the crates as well. So, actually, this is going to be a uniquely challenging Feel Bad Friday, because three stars is one thing. Safely getting all, I don't know, a whole bunch. Four. You can count them as we go. Okay, zero. You know, four crates is going to be a bit of a challenge. Or all, uh, I don't know, 40. So we got that. We don't want to die. Okay. Ooh, I go. Oh, no. Okay, I got you, I got you. This is going to be easier said than done. <laughs> to get all these stars. Nope. At first glance, before I thought about the crate issue, this level seemed like, you know, straightforward. You're just going around, right? Trying to avoid bullets, but hey, I've done that before. But yeah, this is... going to be... very... complete. Alright, down. And out. Up. Oh! Okay, found a nice way to clear that part of it, though. Only have five deaths, not too bad. Um, so what's been up with me? Let's see. Uh, if you'll believe it, uh, my son today turns six months old. Uh, so he's half a year, and it's crazy. Uh, that is one of the craziest things I've ever heard. And, all right, there's that crate, there's that crate. Hang out here. Uh, the... I mentioned before the web version of the electric octopus. Well, that is. I wonder what. Oh, boy, those crates are there. Huh. Uh, the web version of the electric octopus is now in its prototype phase. I've been working on that one for the past little bit of time. But before I talk too much about that, let me try to trace out the path here. Okay, so that was straightforward. I need to get. Oh gosh. This feels like a precursor to uh, the binary level where that one just went crazy. If you look back in the few, previous few by Fridays, you can find the binary level. Oh, okay, let's get to the exit. I have to come through here. So that means I should deal with this all down here first. Okay. Yeah, the web version, which I was planning on doing for a while, just with some of the levels. You know, I never get the hiccups. It's really weird. Some of the levels and in a web version that you can play in the browser. Uh, and also the level editor and things like that. It's just kind of a light ver version of the game that people can play around with for free, share levels for free, that kind of thing, see what other people have made. I'm hoping that'll make it easier to bring, you know, get the game out to people. And I always like, you know, that's why I started doing Flash ga games with my science games. These are about teaching people. They're not about, like, trying to make boatloads of money off of uh, getting people to buy games. So I'd rather have a million eyeballs um, all watching it and then... Hopefully people will enjoy the game enough to want to get the full version. Okay, up, over. Okay, and... Oh! Ja! Bam! Gosh. We're on our way here. Just seven deaths, if you can believe that. Uh, whoa! Down. As I get further along in the level, I start to get more and more uh, nervous about what's going on. I wonder why those charges are there. Oh, can I use that to zip myself up? Do I need to? Oh, no. <gasps> I thought... Okay, those are not going away. In order to get up there, I've got to go up that top thing. Oh, here's hoping that this level hasn't been broken in the time since I uh, made some tweaks to the electric fields. Okay, all right, here we go, though. Let's try it. Oh! 
Yes, it's totally going to work. Oh, I just need to be confident about it. There's no reason for me to let up on the... This is actually pretty sweet. This is one of the things I had in mind when I uh, originally made the game, is uh, this type of notion of you just go really fast and you zip up in some other direction. That is rad. Well done, random player. Between you and Neil Krakow. Oh boy, oh boy. We get some really neat, neat levels out of you. Whoa, down, let's get out of here, let's get out of here. Oh god, gosh, I got things come. Oh, that was ill advised. Okay, while well, we're down a little bit over here, we'll take a little break. We're going too much further. Uh, I tweaked the voltmeter, so it's actually a little tab that you can open up now. So up at the top, there's a meter. And it tells us the voltage. And at any given point, we're 1 volt, 1 volt, 1 volt, 1 volt, 2 volts, 2 volts, 2 volts. We get closer to the positive charges, and it, of course, goes way higher until it's infinite with an X. Because that's how I do infinite. The conductors are zero voltage, and then you can see how the voltage kind of leaks around them as you go around. It gets higher the closer you are. So you can check things out with that. If you cycle through, you can get a few other things. You can measure, you measure the electric field. So what you'd expect it to be. And you can measure the electric field that's taken from the voltages. Uh, in some cases, that's the same. In some cases, that's different. It's just depending on how the game calculates it. Um, in some of them, it gets the electric field through Coulomb's law. In this level, it wouldn't, of course, because there's conductors around. So Coulomb's law is not quite enough to do it. But that integrates it a little nice, nicer into the actual game. So you don't have to open up the editor panel or anything to read the voltages. Whoa. Okay. Now, I'm going to go down here. Yeah, I can't leave it. I Just my luck, if I left this star and this set of crates down here, un... Oh, that... Mm, maybe I should leave that set of stars and crates un-hiccuped. Okay. Yep, up, 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 up. Ha! Beat that. Game. All right, so let's just go up. Destroy the crates. Bam, bam. I can always make it back down there to get the star, right? There's nothing saying I can't. Oh, what? How am I going to get there without dying? Well, let me try it here. It's always nice when there's like a little spot you can test things out. Nope, I would have hit the spikes. I can just not hit the spikes. Golly. That's not the way I do it though. That is not anybody's method for not hitting spikes. Okay, wowzers. Deceptively deceptive level. Okay. Oh, that. Oh, I got it now. I got it now. Problem in my thinking was I was going to destroy. Oh, that's so cool. I was going to destroy the crate right away, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to do. Something. <laughs> I'm just going to die instead. If I can't destroy the crate, nobody can. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Ha! Ha! Can't get me. You're hitting the wall with your darn missiles. Alright. Do, do, do. Uh, I'm going to have some trouble getting out of here. Please don't, please don't, please don't kill me. Nope, okay. That's alright, well now I've figured it out, and... Jesus. It's <laughs> a lot of hard thing. One thing that has changed, I'll note, it hasn't come up yet in this level, is the way the flashing tiles go. Uh, back when this level was built, I don't have the date exactly, but it was a few months ago, uh, for surezies, when a random player made it. 
back then, when a flashing tile like these would appear in your location, you would die. Uh, just because that was a simple way of doing it, right? Like, I don't know, it flashes, what else is going to happen? Uh, but that gets a little bit weird, because, uh, you know, you don't... You don't want to die just because that's going on. It's not like there are spikes. And if you're just like half a centimeter too low and there's some overlap, like, yeah, I guess if you exist in the same location as another set of tiles, you would die. But this is a game, right? We can just pretend that it's all well. Uh, so that's what I infect. We do now. Uh, the game treats it. If something flashes on top of you, that's not spikes. Spikes will kill you. Uh, but if it's not spikes, then it... Whoa! Oh, no! No! Uh, then you just kind of fall through it. It acts like you're not actually contacting anything. So that was a feature added that hopefully makes something like this less frustrating. Now, of course, the frustration does not come from that at all. <laughs> it's merely coming from me trying to really beat the level. That was close. All right, so we're round about here. I missed the crates at the very beginning. Oh my goodness. Well, that's okay. Let me see what I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna die here. So I've, how, oh, so I fall through. That's kind of neat, actually. I always sound surprised when I stay that I don't mean that I'm actually surprised, but it's just always neat to find something new in your game that you didn't no existed or the mechanics used in a different way. Oh, that's gonna be hard to get back up. <laughs> because when it disappears, I'll fall right into my doom, so I need to jump at the right moment. Let me practice. Nope. That that was I I did practice. And I learned a valuable lesson. Let's do this thing. Down we go, in, get the star, so cool, this is so much fun, alright, and then jump it, oh, nope, missed it, oh, okay, that time I did it, yes, 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 I'm out of there, oh, I always get scared that at any time I go into tiles I haven't been on before, I was afraid like these would disappear under me. Uh, and yet I just stood there and waited. Okay, we get those. We get those. Did I get all the stars and all the... All three stars, yes! Almost all the crates. <laughs> oh, God. This is gonna be... Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! Ah! Ha! 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 Oh, God, I'm... This is dangerous. Oh! Ha! Hide out here. Until it's time to go down. Now now it's got the sand tiles. Things are going to be a little more tenuous. Oh, oh, oh. Ha -ha. And I'll hide out here. I think, did I get all the crates? Yes, all the crates. All the stars. Uh, excellent. Thank you, a random player, for sharing a grid world with us. That was a really... Uh, you know, I went back a little bit in the forums, and this wasn't one that I uh, played right when you made it, but I'm really glad that I did now. Uh, and glad that there are some uh, hidden levels back there that I'd forgotten, that I forgot to play for a Feel Bad Friday. Uh, so cycling through those now. Uh, but yeah, excellent. Thank you, a random player. Uh, that was a little preview, too, of version 0 0.8, which is out in the web version. I mean, not legit out, just a prototype that you can play. There's a link in the forums, uh, and will be coming out soon on the uh, actual standalone version. I just need to submit that to the Humble Bundle. There's a couple extra bugs. I think I saw one or two uh, going on here before we get a legit version now to make sure I didn't break anything by making the web version, because that's, that's the worst part of an update is when you update it and break something. Uh, so anyway, thank you all for joining us, and I will see you next time on Feel Bad Friday. And sorry, quick little thing I'm going to add. Since the web version is up as a prototype, feel free to jump into it and make a level and share it with me. Uh, you can share it even with the URL. It gives a little like link, so I can just click it, open it up, play your level, uh, and maybe play it for a Feel Bad Friday coming up. It's free. It's easy. Go for it.